first half, all the way into Greenwich. If you're heading out towards Tate, you've got to clear right all the way through here over by exit 5, by route 1. No problem. Now, looking at you know, yeah. taking the north <laughs> by northbound, you won't have any problems. Over by the Milford area, of course, southbound traffic's moving along pretty well. And, of course, 95 southbound to Newark over by route 7. No delays there at all for you. Traffic looks pretty good. Taking that ride all the way into Darien and Greenwich. 95 and the Mare, both in tip-top shape here for the morning ride. And, of course, Metro North is on our close. This is Kim Masters, News 12, Connecticut Traffic. Kim, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us on News 12, Connecticut. I'm Heather Bovar. Well, the blizzard of 2010 is behind us. It's still leaving its mark on some homes in southwestern Connecticut. All that snow that is collected against homes, well, as it begins to melt, the threat of flooding moves in. Experts recommend homeowners install a drainage system that directs water towards their sump pump. They also say you should get snow away from your home before it melts. Manage your gutter system, keep the water from going over the gutters, your leaders, and the water that you're supposed to normally bring in and out away from the home, and get water off the deck. Homeowners should also contact their insurance company to make sure groundwater flooding is covered under their policy. And in 12 on health, breathe out. The State Department of Environmental Protection is warning that the air quality for the next few days, and an unusual weather system could cause pollution to linger in the